Hey, what's going on today, YouTube? Welcome back to the channel. So, guys, I made a video in Season 5 about the top secondary weapons slash SMGs in Call of Duty Warzone, and you guys loved it. So, I figure, let's make one for Season 6. So, today, guys, I'm going to be breaking down the top secondary and SMGs in Season 6 of Warzone. I know there's a lot of stuff happening right now. There's a lot of meta changes in these weapons specifically because they've done a great job of balancing the ARs in the game, but... Right now, there is a few broken weapons and a few weapons that really need to be talked about because they're really good, guys. And this is something that I think can really help a lot of people step up their game because every once in a while, I'll be killing people and they got peelers in their inventory. And I'm like, what are you doing wasting your time with a peeler right now, guys? So these are five weapons that I recommend that you should use in any Call of Duty match, whether it be competitive or you're just playing with your friends because they're fun weapons and they are very good guys. So let's jump into it. Alrighty guys, so coming in at number five today, I have the AUG. So the AUG SMG, I think is something that I almost never see people use in Warzone, but I'm telling you, it is very, very viable guys. It's just one of those weapons where if you build it out the way I do and use it, it has great range to an smg and the kill time is almost as fast as the mp5 when you put the five five six rounds on you have to use those rounds if you use the regular rounds it's really not very good but the five five six rounds makes the kill time very fast and honestly this gun is very slept on guys it's very accurate there's not much kick to it the only downside i would say to it is the aim down sight speed is not nearly as fast as like say the mp5 or the mp7 but if you get aiming down sights on this gun, it is very good. It's not a gun that you like want to hip fire that much because it's not that accurate. But I'm telling you guys, for a, a like a low to high end, like a medium to high end SMG, this gun does very well in a lot of fights. And surprisingly, like if you want to run it with say a sniper or a gun that you wouldn't want to use particularly at short range like an m13 where the m13 is very good at that medium the long range but the medium the like short range is not very good this gun is like almost a, it's basically built like an ar and it does very good damage at medium range it definitely does the most out of any gun uh of the smgs the mp7 is great at like that medium range but this one has more damage at medium range it feels like an ar so definitely try this one out guys let's go on to number four Alrighty guys, so coming in at number four today is going to be the MP7. Like I was just talking about with the AUG, it is one of the best weapons at that like medium to short range. That medium range, it does phenomenal. It's not as fast killing as the AUG like I was saying, but this thing is a laser beam. So if you have great accuracy, there is no gun in the game that's going to be better for you to pair it with like a sniper. If you guys have seen my sniping videos before, I'm always running an MP7 with it because I just feel very good with it at all range. It's a little bit snappier than the AUG, and yes, the AUG kills a little bit faster, but at the end of the day, I find that the snappiness is just a little bit better for my playstyle. I'm a very accurate shooter, so if I hit the headshots with this gun, it kills very fast. And I know multiple people that actually run the MP7 over the MP5 if they are specifically trying not to get in those short, short range battles. So if they're gonna push a house, they're not gonna use the MP7, but if you're gonna stay outside and play safer, and then get into like a down the hall fight. This gun does just as good against the MP5. So I don't know. This gun is great. I love it. And that's why it comes in at number four. Alrighty, guys. So coming in at number three today, the brand new weapon that they just released last week, the Jack 12, guys. The Jack 12, if you guys don't remember from the MW2 days, is just basically the AA12 from back in the day. But this one is much better because it does this. It shoots fire rounds, guys, and it's fully automatic. It does have a small clip at eight rounds, but the reload time's pretty quick. So, like that eight rounds really doesn't affect you too much because I what I've noticed is those dragon breath rounds kill in about two to three bullets. So you can easily kill two to three people with those eight bullets if they're in a short quarters. And I think it's really strong right now. I'm hoping to see some kind of a nerf to these dragon breath rounds, guys. They're very, very strong right now. And this gun really does show how good they are. The It's very accurate. Even the iron sight on it like feels good, guys. It's kind of weird. It's a really good gun right now in Warzone. You're not going to beat it up close with almost anything. But it is very good. And that is why it comes in at number three for me today, guys. 
Alrighty guys, so coming in at number two today, I have the R9. So this could come in at number one right now, but you can kind of switch out one and two if you really want to. So the R9 is just one of those guns that with these dragon breath rounds has crazy range because this, this it stays very tight spread. Like you can see on the wall there, they're still within this circle on the uh, aim down site. So that's the bullet pellet tightness is very good on this gun which makes it very deadly at medium to short ranges um obviously you won't want to use it any further than about where you're at right now because you're using a shotgun but i'm telling you guys this thing absolutely if you get into a building like like this right here you're just not gonna lose a gunfight no matter what unless you are completely terrible at aiming and a person's here and you're shooting here there is no shot you're losing this gun has stupid damage it pretty much is an automatic two tap when you're in close range and it needs a nerf guys i've been saying it it made it on my top five weapons list and it really needs a nerf right now i pref like i really don't enjoy shotgun meta and i know a lot of people don't because they feel like the skill cap's low i think for a lot of people out there it's great to have a gun that does like equal the playing field against some better players but this gun right now is dumb guys it does so much damage and if you have not unlocked the dragon breath rounds yet i had a buddy tell me the other day that he hasn't yet it's super easy to unlock guys you literally have to go get like sliding you have to get like 10 sliding kills like that in a multiplayer game or even in warzone if you don't have warzone unlocked it's really not that hard with a shotgun if you put a shotgun on so definitely worth unlocking those dragon breath rounds right now we're i'm personally hoping for that nerf but i don't think it's gonna happen because i don't know we know what infinity war does but this gun is very good guys already guys so coming in at number one today we have the mp5 so as everyone knows, the MP5 has absolutely ran Call of Duty Modern Warfare, and then it transitioned into the war zone, and it was still running it. They've nerfed it, and at this point, I think they've kind of just hit a point where they're like, eh, we're not going to change it anymore. It's way too good, and everyone kind of likes it. So, I wouldn't say it's like a broken gun by any means, but it's just that consistency that it brings. It's very good up close range. It has a crazy hip fire on it. There's just nothing that this gun does wrong. It does pretty decent at aim at range because it's very accurate. I mean, it can't compete with like the MP7 at medium range, but like if you get to that short medium range, this gun's still very consistent and can be won in a lot of gunfights against ARs at times. So I definitely would put this gun at number one, guys. I don't think there's much I can even say about it because it's just been the meta for literally since Call of Duty Modern Warfare came out and since Warzone came out. But Definitely the only tip I would give you guys is if you guys are struggling to use the mp5 at all because I know some people don't love it You got to hip fire more guys the hip fire on it's ridiculous It's one of those things that for me personally I've been forcing myself to take more mp5 fights and get better with it because when you watch high-level gameplay They just love the mp5. They absolutely run games Those are the guys dropping 30 40 kills a game like Tommy or someone like that They run the game with the mp5 and it is just very good guys and that's why it comes in at number one Alrighty, guys thank you so much for hanging out with me today and enjoying the video if you did make sure you subscribe to the channel we make this kind of content all the time we're always keeping you updated with the newest metas in call of duty warzone and posting a lot of fun gameplays as well so subscribe to the channel like the video and comment below guys if there's a gun that you thought should have deserved to make this list that did it so i'm always looking to learn what you guys are doing trying new things out for the content sake so let me know in the comments what you guys think i reply to almost every single one of my comments so actually i do reply to every single comment so definitely leave a comment and that's gonna be it guys i appreciate y'all have a wonderful rest of your day Peace.